Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are here with our lovely Bengal tiger that we just built an exhibit for and she is just lazing perfectly in the sun beneath one of the bushes that we placed in the habitat that they sorely needed. So I thought we would start off with some Bengal tiger trivia for you guys because I actually really, really love tigers. Um, they're not my favorite, of course. Lions are pretty high up there, but they are so beautiful that I had to give them the justice they deserved. As we all know, Bengal tigers are endangered they are an endangered species which means their population is decreasing at a rapid rate and there are only several hundred i think about i think there's about 2500 tigers left in the world there were eight tiger subspecies at one time but three of them became extinct in the early 20th century and of course over the last 100 years hunting and forest destruction have reduced the tiger population to that 2500 um, they are hunted as trophies and also for body parts that are used in chinese medicine um, so it's kind of really imperative to learn about these creatures and learn about their habitats and realize how much humans are really encroaching on their territories because of course tigers live alone and they aggressively scent mark territories to keep other tigers away. They hunt at night, um, and when they do get pregnant and have their young, the females raise the young on their own in litters of about two to six. Um, the males really have no contact with the female or the cubs. She raises them on their own until they come of age. Um, until about two to three years, if I remember correctly, and then they go off and find territories of their own. So they are very, very, very independent. So it is just very important to note that because their species is so rapidly declining that we need to learn more about them and learn how to protect them in the future. And unfortunately for Bengal tigers, they only live about eight to 10 years in captivity. So that is not a lot of time, if you think about it, to really breed their numbers back up because of course in captivity, animals have a decreased um, amount of health, honestly. And of course zoos and sanctuaries are looking to raise that longevity, but of course, being kept in a, an enclosure is not the same as being able to roam in the wild. So there is your Bengal tiger trivia and just a little PSA to just be mindful of what you're doing when you go into territories. Not that any of you are going into Bengal tiger territories, I would hope not, but just, you know, just kind of a little words of wisdom for you guys. All right, so we are actually supposed to be doing a cold west right now. We are in the gold part of this first campaign, the Goodwin House, and we need to beep -a bop boop -a doop over here so we can take a look at the common peafowl. I think it's, no, Indian peafowl, excuse me, the Indian peafowl. So we need to adopt three new Indian peafowls, I guess. Um, here he is. Here's the male. This is the one that we're supposed to be taking a look at. And isn't he gorgeous? Oh my gosh, you guys. I think that he is so pretty. I kind of want his um, feathers to come up. You can tell that he is a male because he does have those feathers. Um, and oh, look at him strutting around. Oh my gosh. You are absolutely adorable, my friend. All right. So let's go ahead and pop over here expand the social welfare okay uh, now they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed but it looks like their social group isn't quite right mm. so let's find out more okay so this Click is on the Rishi. social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong wow so his habitat and his enrichment is not that good in his social group so let's look at the social tab right um. as you can see the peafowls need their population to be larger to solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Oh. Well, off you pop to the animal market. All right, all right. And can we just talk about how cute this exhibit is? This looks like a maze that people could actually walk through, but it's actually not. There's actually a habitat gate. It is actually a habitat itself. But it actually is a really cool feature to see that this is like a beautiful scenery spot for people to come look at in the zoo, but also get to see the peafowl. So that's really interesting. Of course, where I live, peafowl are just randomly walking around the zoo, so... All right, so here we go. We have three peafowl ready for adoption. Now, this is our first one. I don't 
I still don't know what these numbers mean exactly, but let's see. So the size is 58%, the longevity is 75%, and the fertility is 50%. Mm, that's not that great. Um, let's see, the source was from a breeding program. Okay, so it looks like that this one, um, the genetics were not as great from the breeding program as they could have been from whatever zoo it came from. So let's go ahead and adopt this one. Um, and then this one has a gold star. This one is 83% size. I'm assuming from what we remember of the ostrich is that 100, the size meter is indicated about how big they can actually get. So she is 83% to size of what she could be. Her longevity is 75% and her fertility is 67, also from a breeding program. Um, and then we have this one. Oh, now this one, this one's size and longevity are not that great, which means this one probably had a lot of inbreeding going on from the breeding program that it was in before but let's go ahead and adopt them and we will go ahead and go to the trade center select all and send to the zoo good work on those pea fowls. i expect they'll be delivered soon but sadly it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy let's oh. head over there and see what's wrong with her all right let's uh yeah let's go ahead where is i think i see the aha here we go beep beep bop boop ba doop over here Just perfect like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right you know like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag <laughs> in the case of these okay. snow leopards they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy you can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass it's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? Oh, okay. This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Okay, okay. All right, so we need to put in one-way glass. So let's click on our snow leopard friend. Hello, gorgeous. How are you? Oh, look at you go. Oh, look at her tail, too. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Snow leopards are definitely beautiful creatures. I absolutely love them. Um, and I just love, I mean, just look at that tail and look at her feet. Her feet are so cute. Now, snow leopards actually um, only get about to about 60 to 120 pounds. That's actually not a lot. So they definitely are on the smaller end of the big cat range. They only are about four to, to get to four to five feet tall. They are also endangered and they are rare. They live in the mountains of Central Asia and they are, that's the reason they're endangered. I would technically consider them critically endangered. Um, but yeah, but their feet, uh, they have little fur covered feet that act as snowshoes in the mountains since it does get very snowy up there. And their legs are powerful, you guys. I'm talking about powerful. You think your cat can like get on top of your refrigerator quite easily? These legs make these snow leopards tremendous leapers. They can jump as high as 50 feet. Not as high. I'm sorry. Not high. Far. Never say hi, because hi means like they're like, whoop, you know, right up and straight up. They can leap as far as 50 feet. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and what are we doing? Increase the welfare for the snow leopard. Okay, so what is your name, my dear? You have a name that I cannot pronounce. Uh, what? <laughs> what is his name? Yulin Yagatsetkik? You, Yulin Yagant Setsig. Yulin Yagasetsig? Yulin Yag, Yag I'm going to say that's what it is. Yulin Yagasetsig. Okay. I don't think that's right, but <laughs> okay. Oh, apply or remove contraceptives. Oh, so we can actually stop the animals from breeding if we want to and remove it. Guys. Okay. 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 All right. Well, let's, um, Okay, well, let's uh, get in here. So what do we need to be doing right now? We need to swap the barrier for one-way glass. All right, so let's uh, click on that. And we're going to do this right here, I guess. Um, oh, no, no, sorry. Of course, when an animal isn't oh, did I do it? Okay. Biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Okay. And surprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Of course. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's oh. start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. Okay. Um, all right. S where is that? Uh, replace the... Where is that? Where's the temperature heat map? Is it here? Is this it? Oh, oh, oh. Turn on the temperature heat map. Okay. 
So let's turn that off. Oh no no wait. Yes yes it was I was as right. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Okay. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Oh Luckily okay. For us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Okay. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Oh, okay. All right, so coolers can be found under habitat. All right. So place coolers to make the habitat colder. All right, so this is a small cooler. Now we already have one over here, so I guess we want to maybe put one like in the middle over here. And then that encompasses that whole area and maybe we should put one near the um near its uh shelter. So that way it's cold in its shelter as well. All right. Um, how many do we want to do? Do we want to do more than that? Uh, sure. Let's, oh, let's place one over here. Cause there's an area over here that is not, uh, cold. You can find heat Perfect. Perfect. All sorts of helpful things. So do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. Okay. Wow. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. But now we've oh. got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock. So let's make that happen. All right, all right. So, uh, terrain. Can I turn the temperature heat map off? Can I turn it off? I can. Okay, great. I accidentally placed that. Can I move that, actually? Um, I accidentally placed that. And I didn't mean to. Oh, whoa. Okay, so power running costs, power units, and temperature change. Negative 26. Um, I want to move you actually into the habitat itself. Perfect. Okay. So, and we can change the color of it. Oh my god, that's so amazing. We can actually change the color of it. Okay. So, it's decreasing temperature. It is now 15 degrees Celsius. I don't actually know what that is because I live in a region where we go by Fahrenheit. I wonder if there's a way to change that in the options, but, um, so this is actually decreasing it to it's zero degrees Celsius. What is this doing? Okay. So this is what we want it to be. We want it to be zero degrees Celsius. Awesome. Okay. So this temperature it's negative 26 degrees. That was the temperature change that it needed to do. Now the range, Oh, we can actually adjust the range of it. Okay, well, I want the range to be pretty high, I would think. So power units, 318. So I wonder if we need to make sure um, what type of generators that we're putting in, how much power is being used from the exhibit, and whether we need to add more. She did say that it would all be powered, but okay. So let's go ahead and... Oh, yes, terrain. All right, so what are we doing? We need to put in... Increase the terrain welfare... So, what do we want to do here? I think we want to go... Aha! Okay, so we want grass, rock, and snow. So let's put in some more rock. There is a lot of grass. Definitely want some more rock. Here we go. Wonderful. We'll put in a little bit more over here. And then we need more snow. So let's put in some more snow right around here. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to put some more grass um over this way a little bit um i'm gonna oh i'm taking away from the snow though can i uh okay let me see something really quick because i i wanna oh yeah that's not gonna be very good is it okay um let's do something like that but let's really let's put the snow back i think Okay, let me put a lot of snow in the habitat, too. Um, oh, sorry, Whiskey's, like, barking. Give me one second, you guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's get this grass in order. So if I were to get out of this, right, and if I were to go back to this. Okay, so this is where I would be able to see, like, the intensity and the size of the snow. So I know that they need long grass. So let's do the size of it and just see like how that would do okay here we go 96 percent oh that went to 95 because i got rid of more of the snow so let's get let's go down a little bit to size right here uh let's do intensity like this so we really need to play around with the settings of this 
Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, what else do we need? Um, where did the snow leopard go? We probably need more rock, right? So rough rock. Let's do like size a little lower. And maybe do something like that. Hmm. Where did the snow leopard actually go? Because I want to be able to make sure that I'm doing this right. This is very, this is very like intense and I'm, I'm loving it. I just want to make sure I can't tell if I'm like doing the right thing. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's exit out of terrain and let's click on you and see what you're still needing. Um, you are still needing, you're still needing long grass. You're not happy with the amount of grass. Okay. Oh, we're so close. You guys We're so close. Or do they want less grass? Oh, they want less grass. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. They want they want like no grass, which I think is what she said. And I'm just being dumb. Got it. <laughs> less grass, less grass, less grass. Okay, so more rock. Let's do all the rock around here. So that way there is no grass like anywhere. Because they do, they live in the mountains, so that would make more sense, you know? So let's do that. Uh, let's do it around here. And then let's do more snow. Now, I think the terrain actually layers a little bit. So the more we kind of take this snow around, the more the grass will disappear. I think there's actually grass in that in there. So correct amount of sand. Correct amount of snow. Let's do a little bit. Perfect! All of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Okay. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then okay. into the animals section. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to open zoo. We're going to... Oh, wow. Okay. So inspection report. Oh, okay. So inspectors come to the... Nine animals are starving? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hold everything. So the West African lion is the most appealing. We have 47 animals in the zoo, 14 different species, and the average animal welfare is three stars. Ooh. Um, we have 85 total staff, and the yearly wages is 70,000. Is that for the staff or for, like, the the um, zoo itself? We have mechanics, keepers, vets, vendors, security guards, and caretakers land utilized yearly tax costs oh so we can expand the land i thought so okay so this is i don't i can't actually see what that says underneath it but this looks like the day night cycle oh oh i don't want to mess with that sorry 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 okay so th there actually is a day night cycle um zoo reputation wow active loans we can get a loan oh god okay all right so let's look at this As you can see this list shows you the animals overall <gasps> welfare. So wolves! Miss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the local... There are wolves! There. Right. I'm off for a cut by while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. Guys! St hold everything. There are timber wolves. I... <gasps> oh, oh god. Oh my god! <gasps> Oh my, no, stop, 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 stop. Just stop. Just stop everything. There are wolves. You guys. Okay. If you don't also know this about me, I absolutely love wolves. They are so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa,
my god get me back to the wolves please where are they where are they where are they where are they because i need them right now oh my god look at that they're eating the meat out of that tray some okay animals are severely dehydrated but i have to take pictures of these wolves is that more important probably not oh my god you guys this is insane there's three of them oh my god whoa okay um i'll be in the wolf exhibit for the next year and a half uh sorry to all the other animals that are not doing well <laughs> you're gorgeous and i love you okay we actually need to go do something else sorry i'm done fangirling holy crap okay so we need to look at the sea welfare okay so um the ring-tailed lemur i don't okay this is dehydrated and this is starving all right so let's start okay this shows me the welfare so let's go to here to kiati this ring-tailed lemur over here um and is this the lemur exhibit oh gosh 15 animals are close to death whoa 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 okay 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 what is going on okay you need food enrichment um okay so let's go to habitat i think yep all right and let's go to enrichment items okay so so i can actually type in something for a lemur because it has the tag awesome okay so this is a sprinkler this is a small ball this is a mirror mobile okay forage box enrichment okay this is very very big but we're gonna put it um right over here i think here we go yeah all right so they got a forage box now um relocating why are we relocating unbox all animals oh were they boxed up because they weren't doing well that would make sense i would think okay so so kiati where are you my love you're over here oh are you stuck behind that rock are you stuck behind that rock and that's why you're like severely dehydrated i can't is that that's you right kiati yeah oh my gosh uh you're stuck okay so call keeper to habitat move send animal to storage and animal trade center box animal okay can i pick up the box can i pick up the box because this is why it's not uh oh okay i didn't mean to do that but I actually okay hold on let's go to the animal trade center let's have Kiati sent back in here I think it was stuck I think it was glitched behind that rock I don't actually think it could get out from behind that rock because it was like there's no reason for it to be like dehydrated right or is it I don't know okay all right so we'll wait for that to happen um Kiati should be coming back so everyone else in here is good. So we need to check on uh, Zavrina. Oh, we get to check on what I want to check on, which is my wolf. Okay, so, oh my God, look how beautiful you are. Just look how beautiful you are. You don't even know how beautiful you are. Oh my God. Okay, um, so Zavrina, you need enrichment as well. You need food enrichment and toy enrichment. Okay, so... Um, Let's go to all and let's type in wolf. I think that'll work, right? Uh, cardboard box, African wild dog, timber wolf. Okay, so you need food enrichment, which is probably going to be in the form of this right here. A dog ball enrichment. Okay, awesome. Um, can we actually read about this stuff in the uh, Zoopedia, maybe? Or like, is there not a way to click on it? Maybe not. Okay. Well, let's do this so that's done and then you need what else do you need my love you need toy enrichment okay so let's get you a toy let's get you so we already got you a ball 
let's get you something else and let's put it where the guests can see you which wow look at this exhibit this is absolutely incredible oh my gosh okay um i'm gonna go ahead and put it over here because this looks like where the guests can view you um uh, we'll do a prey scented sack here we go bam right there okay so now you are all set what is that she's the alpha female oh my god you guys they actually have she actually has a rank she actually has a rank oh my god i love that love that love that she actually has a rank whoa okay um love that about that and everything i actually want her to play with it but i don't think she's going to that's okay oh my god she's just beautiful oh she's like hopping around i think she's really excited oh my god love living breathing let me make a zoo full of timber wolves done the end okay so let's go back to the zoo panel um now oh there's more you gotta scroll down oh my god okay let's check on kiati um who did not get sent to where i wanted them to what what's going on why were they not sent back to where they need to be uh animal trading animal trade center yeah i want you to be oh 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 sorry oh. sorry 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 return to habitat okay that should be in the works okay um okay yeah sorry okay so let's yeah let's sort this by welfare so the ct the common ostrich in transit to ringtail lemur okay that should be fine ct who i think we just purchased um does not have enough water okay is this current volume call keeper to habitat so i can call the keeper to fill this hopefully hopefully all right is that all you need you need more nourishment animal is starving requires keeper okay so the keepers being requested um yeah they don't have any food in here keeper is in route so when the keeper gets here should they what are you what signs are you holding what is that picketing processors are angry about the low welfare of some of your animals improve the care given to your animals and the protesters shall leave oh okay well here we go we've got a keeper don't worry animals being protested siki and shaziki okay so hopefully you can fill that up for us yes wonderful big bird's gonna need some water in here big bird gonna need all the water in here okay so social enrichment animal is not benefiting from living with a diverse range of suitable species that looks like it's a good thing though all right so they need hydration and then more nourishment okay so are you filling keeper is en route okay are you filling that or oh the keeper probably has to run to the ah okay so he's gonna go in here and fill the food awesome okay so i shouldn't be worried about them anymore um okay so welfare how is everyone okay so then we need to check on our tigers again all right so they actually also need food so we're gonna call a keeper um because they need nutrition their habitat is not that great hard shelter shelter space is critically insufficient to cover all animals okay okay so let's go to habitat um let's go to shelter and let's do oh you can actually hear them like shouting okay tiger okay so we have a large zoo shelter a habitat bedding ah okay so we need bedding in there i think all right let's put let's move this bush can we move this bush out of the way i think i accidentally put this in here i think and i didn't mean to okay 
So let's actually get rid of this, I think. Let's let's get no 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 no. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of it. Demolish. Okay. So we are going to um, get more shelter. So habitat and right. Oh god, that's really large. No 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 no. We maybe want medium. Okay. Yeah, I think medium is going to be the best bet here. Let's kind of position it like this way. Perfect. And then we'll get some bedding. Uh, yeah, here we go. Bedding. There. Okay. So how is your stuff doing now? Let's find out. Okay. Let's click. Okay, yeah, they're protesting the welfare of the tigers, I think, too. Okay, so the habitat, the cleanliness needs done. Okay. Now, can we get in here and do the cleaning, too? Like, we could in Zoo Tycoon 2, or do we have to leave it up to the keepers? Because if we have to leave it up to the keepers, that's very irritating. Because I want to clean up this poop right here. I want to just clean it up right there. But I don't think I can, which is kind of annoying, but that's that's what it is, I guess. All right, so let's look again here at the welfare of everybody. So it's just the tigers now. What do we need to be increasing it to? Increase the overall welfare to 80%. Okay, so let's make sure once the tigers get everything. Um, I requested a keeper. Oh, God. Okay, that's an issue that we need to fix. Um, I'll fix that in a minute. Um, I just want a keeper to be requested. Okay, let's see here. Um, so everyone, sorry. Okay, so these guys are what needs next. Okay, the, the lemurs are still not exactly happy. So let's go in here and do the lemurs. Okay, habitat. So they need more terrain. Terrain is inappropriate for this animal. Okay, so we need more soil. Um, yeah, we need more soil and less grass. Okay, so they do not like the grass in their habitat. So let's go ahead and do size to encompass a large area for soil. Oh, they do want a little bit of grass. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, let's do a little bit of grass. Whoa, that was a lot of grass. <laughs> that was a lot of grass. Let's do more rock. Um, Let's do more rock. Okay, so let me do this. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Uh, this and habitat. Okay, let's do the grass. Uh, that's way too much grass, though. There we go. Okay, perfect. That is perfect. Okay, so now what does that look like? For everybody okay they still need a keeper requested which is making me nervous their habitat still isn't the way they want it uh, what's what's it like <laughs> habitat cleanliness okay so we need to call a keeper perfect all right okay okay so this is actually pretty interesting and i'm really really loving this i'm really really loving this okay so this tells us yeah, animal is starving. Okay, so these are alerts. Oh gosh, close to death. Okay, well, uh, keeper's en route, honey. I don't know. Okay, there's the keeper. What are you doing? Please don't let my animal die. All right, you guys. I finally, finally, finally got this fixed. So there's a little bit of a glitch here with the tigers. I don't know if it's because of where I put the habitat gate or where I um, put the keeper hut, but the keeper kept going in and out of the habitat and then wouldn't actually go to a keeper hut and make food. And these tigers are close to death, you guys. Um, so I've had to fiddle with it. I've been feeling if it were like 15 minutes trying to get this to work. Um, so it's been a little crazy. So I finally got it to work. I moved this around, moved the habitat gate. The keeper should finally be coming for food with the tigers. I even moved the habitat food thing around. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was a little stressful. 
But he's finally coming in here and placing food for the tigers um, to eat. He's not placing it in the bin like he should be, but I don't know where he's gonna place it. So as long as they get food here very shortly, that is all I care about. Looks like he's placing it right here. Oh, he's refilling the frozen blood pumpkin. Oh, okay. Well, I really want you to refill the f actual food. Um, here, I'm going to call Keeper to Habitat to refill the food tray. But at least they'll get some nourishment out of this, I think. I hope. Because um, that is food. So let's hope he does that. Um, uh, but we're going to go ahead and check on... Uh, the rest of the zoo to see if I've got it up to 80%, which I almost do now. So what are you going to do? You're going to go hopefully get food. Yes. Okay. He's going over to get food. It's a little glitchy still, but of course it's still the beta access. So I understand and for can forgive a little bit of those things. It's fair All to right. say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying colors. But we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Oh, we're going to grab our passport. All right, you guys. I guess we need to grab our passports and jump on the plane because we are mm. on to the next Sounds campaign. Like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. <laughs> well, purring, grunting, screaming, booming. <laughs> All the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was right to hire you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't tell her I told you, but... Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so, we're happy this is working out. And Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> foxy coffee? What is as that? As it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. Aww. After the one I did have, obviously. <laughs> but you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals, but... She set her sights somewhat higher. Mm hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. Oh. Raised a good daughter, I'll Bernie. Just settle for saving a couple of species. Mm. And maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of interesting. All right, you guys. So we have finished the Goodwin House. We got all the objectives completed. Our most popular species was the West African lion. The guest in the zoo was 2,784. We had $391,000 in zoo cash and we completed this journey on year six in June the 19th. All right. Oh my gosh. This is an incredible first start to the campaign. There are still some glitches that need to be worked out, which I will do a Planet Zoo review. Actually, my first review of a game that'll go up on my channel. I'm very excited, even though it's beta access, but I really want to do my first impressions video um because i'm having a lot of fun and so i think we're gonna jump into the next one we have until october 8th to do all the things in this zoo and i want to see it all before it releases on november the 6th so um if you guys like this part go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time bye